All right, everyone, I am going to talk about another question that you probably have had, maybe you're curious about, and have maybe asked yourself before, but you didn't know the answer to it. And I am going to help you today. And it is, why do so many business owners have large trucks, SUVs, why do they buy them? Like you don't see a lot of them in smaller cars, you see them in a lot of these big vehicles. But before I answer that question, if you're getting value out of my content and you're enjoying my videos, there are four simple things that I want you to do. Like my videos, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell to get the alerts for future videos and future content. I'm trying to do about two or three videos a week, slowly building up my library. And, and lastly, share it with your friends. So, how, why do we, why is, this true. Why do most people, like when they start a business, they end up buying some big SUV? And I'm going to explain it to you. And I'm going to use one number that you need to remember. Okay? And it's going to be this number right here. Six thousand. Now you're like, what does that mean? $6,000, 6,000 what? 6,000 pounds. So if you buy a car that, is, that has a gross vehicle weight rating of over 6,000 pounds, so it has to, you can find that in the little door jam like on your car, like if you open up the driver's side door, it will tell you what your gross vehicle weight rating is. But if you have one that's over 6,000 pounds, you get, this is gonna be really cool. You get to take advantage of a perk, 100 bonus. One hundred percent bonus depreciation. Now, what do you mean? So, if I buy, let's say I buy, let's say I buy, I purchase a eighty k Mercedes Mercedes SUV. So maybe you're like a real estate agent, you need, you want to have a nice car, uh, you might be a self-employed attorney, and so like you just, you want to give off that feeling of luxury to your clients, so on and so forth, and so you end up buying this SUV. Since you bought it and it's over 6,000 pounds, this 80K, 100% deductible. Yeah, this 80K is 100% deductible. So that's awesome, right? You can deduct that $80,000 and reduce your taxable income. So it is a very powerful tax planning tool. Now, you might be asking, and you probably hear this a lot, where it'll say, get the government to pay for your vehicle. Well, that's, that's you're not, you're getting a discount. And let's, and let's, let's, let's run through some math here. Let's assume Again, you have this $80,000 vehicle. And let's assume, assume, let's assume a 30% tax rate. I know there's not a 30% bracket in real life, but we're just gonna assume it to make the math work in this example. So you can get a calculator and do and do you know your math accordingly. So you buy this eighty thousand dollar vehicle. This is your tax deduction, but what you save in taxes is times thirty percent. That's twenty four thousand, right? So you save you save twenty four thousand dollars in taxes by buying the eighty thousand dollar car. Your cost then is 
So you're, you, you are essentially spending $56,000 from your business. You bought an $80,000 car, but the government is covering the $24,000. And that, that is just the income piece. If you have FICA, and that, that will also help lower your, so you'll get additional savings even beyond this because of uh, FICA and Social Security and um, Medicare. So let me just. So yeah, this does not include FICA or Social Security. So you have to remember all of this when you're going into this, that yes, the government is essentially kind of giving you a discount if you want to think of it that way, but we're not paying for the whole thing. So again, it's a very powerful tax planning tool. And that's why you see a lot of business owners take advantage of this, because if you buy a regular car, you cannot do 100% bonus depreciation. It's just one of the limitations there. You can take some accelerated depreciation, but you just can't take the full amount. So again, like, this is a powerful way to save on taxes, but you also have to remember that don't just use this as an excuse to go out and buy a car. And the other thing that you need to remember is you have to be over 50% business use. For this even to work, for this even to work, that means the total number of miles that you drive over half of them have to be for business. If it's not, this doesn't, this doesn't work for you. So um, just keep that in mind. So again, now hopefully I answer your question. And if you have any more questions, be sure to drop them in the comments. Any other great questions might be turned into actual videos. So if you have other ideas for videos that you want me to talk about, let me know. I'm always happy to entertain the ideas. Y'all have a great day.